So Lapita and the uncle, my wife, <laughs> I'm just playing. Lapita has a book out called Sowe or Sowe. I believe I'm saying it right. And it talks about her life coming up and her skin, basically. So stay tuned for the video. Tumble, tumble, salawam, salawam. I do hope to try it as well. Before I start, always presence to the most high. Now, before I start with this video, I definitely want to send my deepest condolences to this young princess that we lost not too long ago. And her name is Camille Cupcake McKinney. Also a huge rest in paradise to pop, 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 pops. Get them pops, get them pops, bang, bang, bang. Tom Witherspoon, great brother, great man, made us laugh over these decades. Rest in peace to John Witherspoon. Sad to see this brother go. Rest in peace to the to this brother and this young queen, princess. May y'all rest in the kingdom. So Lapita Nyango's book Sowe Sowe I believe I'm saying it right. Apologize if I'm saying it wrong. This book that Lapita's putting out it's basically a book that goes over her childhood, basically, her coming up, right? So her being a dark-skinned Kenyan and being surrounded by people of a lighter hue, if you will. So all the visuals and the media... Um, TV shows, you know, toys, all that. Everything that's white, lighter skin. These are the things that Lapita is viewing as she's coming up, right? So she talks about when she was coming up, how she drew a picture of her family and she made um, her family with a, um, a lighter um, color, a lighter textured color, like a beige color or something to give her family some, some kind of lightness so you can see the family, right? Because she didn't use a darker, a darker color, if you will, which would be her color, right? Which would be her family's color, right? Which would be a lot of People, you know, melanoid, melanin-induced uh, people, right, if you will. She, like a lot of us around the diaspora and, and people that have darker hue, view lightness as an acceptance, right? You're more accepted the whiter you are. You're more beautiful the whiter you are, Right? At least that's that's the Kool-Aid we've been drinking for a long time now. Even today, you see a lot of people saying shit like, I prefer lighter-skinned women, I prefer lighter-skinned men, you know, versus their own colored um, self, their own black, natural, melanated self. Now, I know there's a lot of YouTubers on here that talk on colorism talks on um colorist behavior and colorist mindsets um i've never been one to date or be with a woman for her skin tone her hue because it never crossed my mind uh, a beautiful woman is a beautiful woman right 
So I've dated a yellow bone. I've dated uh, chocolate. And I've dated my color, you know, uh, brown, caramel, all the colors, right? And I said this before in plenty of videos, right? I've never put one shade over the other and said, oh, that color is more um, attractive than the next color. No, that's not true. A beautiful woman to me is a beautiful woman, right? It's beautiful chocolate sisters out here, right? Lapita is is uh proof right just looking at her just look how beautiful she is right she's very beautiful um there is a colorism issue though out here and i don't think it's really men just view white or light bright or, you know, a yellow as more attractive. I think it's everything that's being fed to us. I think it's in the music, the movies, TV shows, even like I said earlier in the video, Lapita drew her family like as if like, they were not dark like her. She drew them white. So it's more of a a mind thing. It's more of a mental thing when we're talking about color struck Negroes, color struck people. And don't get me wrong. There's a lot of men out here that may be color struck and they get excited over light brights and shit. But there are a lot of color struck women. Out here, there's a lot of color struck females. They can blame men for that, for opening up the door for that. But a color struck Negro is a color struck Negro. It doesn't matter if you're female or male. A color struck Negro is a color struck Negro. How do we get out of that colorist, that color state? All we see is light bright. How do we get out of that mindset? You have to, it has to start early. This is why. I'm in favor of Lapita's book because it actually puts out the it puts out the um the conversation of having these talks early about loving your skin and us brothers even appreciating sisters beautiful sisters that look like this and appreciating the the melanin you know a lot of dudes look at it like oh man oh I'm not sipping I ain't Doing none of that for these women. Woo, woo. Fuck that. I like what I like. But it's like, man, these women are part of you. They look the way they do because of you. You look the way you do because of them. So we have to start young. We have to start indoctrinating ourselves with black is beautiful. Brown and black is, is beautiful. There's nothing wrong with that. I think a lot of the times we, we view darker skinned females as there's something wrong with that. There's something wrong with a sister looking like that. There's nothing wrong with a sister looking like that because there's a lot of brothers that have the very same skin tone. And yes, self-hatred is rapid. It's rapid in the tribe. But I think it's a lot of brothers and sisters out here in the tribe trying to um what's the word i don't want to say eradicate it but we want to get rid of that we don't want that colorist mindset i think people should be open to who they want to date you can date who you want to date just don't put your own people down in the process of dating who you want to date there's nothing wrong with dating a yellow bone you like yellow bone that's cool but don't trash darker skinned women because you have a yellow bone and vice versa. This goes for male and female. This goes for the men and the women, the sisters and the brothers. So I thought that I thought what she said when I seen her talk about this book, so way, I thought it was very interesting. And um, I think colorism is an issue too, just like racism. We have a lot of things in the tribe that we need to work on. But I think having these discussions having these talks is what will bring us one step closer to figuring out 
where this stems from versus the same arguments and blaming somebody for their self-hatred. Self-hatred is self-hatred, man. It don't matter if you're a man or a woman, right? So if anybody need a link and need help finding a book, I posted in the description box. Y'all be good, tribe. Shalom. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.